All right, everybody, we are back with our potentials for the top 10 list. Uh, we have 19 potential contenders to narrow down to 10. And then from those 10, like always, we will make a definitive like ordering. Uh, in no particular order, we have Ed and Eddie, Jackie Chan, Steven Universe, Batman 90s theme, uh, Milo Murphy's Law, X-Men 90s theme, Batman Beyond, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Kim Possible, Johnny Quest, Danny Phantom, Arthur, My Life as a Teenage Robot, DuckTales, Jimmy Neutron, Dave the Barbarian, Magic School Bus, Kids Next Door, and Class of 3000. Honestly, a pretty good list. Yeah. Like, I'm, hap I'm, I'm not upset that really anything is on here. Um, I'm kind of surprised that Johnny Quest is, like, the only, like, old one, you know? I, I had some on my honorable mentions. Like, I had things like, anim well, Animaniacs isn't that old, but I had, like, yeah. Looney Tunes and the Pink Panther. Yeah. Um. At any rate, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if, uh, if Johnny Quest was cut first. It did have a little bit of, a. Uh, I was gonna say, that's on my list. I have five ones that I'm willing to cut, and, uh, I think three of them are from my list. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, how generous of you. <laughs> <laughs> three out but of yeah, five, that's, uh. As far as, like... <laughs> Johnny Quest went. It was a fairly like surprisingly adult actiony intro. Yeah, it does have some things that don't hold up today as well. One of them was nope. the outro, so I'm gonna try and not hold that against it. Yeah, but even in the intro, it was a little. Like, yeah. it wasn't walking, too walking bad. Was not a strong suit back well, then. <laughs> we'll go with that. Yeah, there's yeah. the Hanna Barbera walk cycle <laughs> that just doesn't hold up by today's standards. Yeah, it's in it's endearing, kind of is. in a show like Scooby Doo. Because like they're overly cartoony, but this had a little bit more, of, a little bit more of a realistic vibe. The yeah. guy literally shoots guns. Yeah. In a in a sixties children's cartoon. But yeah, I feel I feel comfortable getting rid of that one. Not to say it was necessarily bad, but it definitely just doesn't hold up. Yeah, it's it, and it's certainly more uh, it just my personal out. my personal taste with what I like and all. Do we have any others we're looking at? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. I thought it was neat, but I don't think it's strong enough to stand up to the rest of them. I second this. Cool. I do too. It's got, it's got some fun visuals. I kind of like the inter. It looks weird in some ways, but I kind of like the inner splicing of the live action Jackie Chan, like shaking his yeah. hand after he punched somebody. It's cute. It's got a fun theme song. I think it's memorable, at least. Like I can always think of it. But I grew up watching the show, so maybe that's yeah. why. Yeah. Um. I guess I'm just gonna like X yeah, these out for right now. Yeah, just, the like, things that I that I uh, think about from that are the uh, intercut live action stuff and that one shot where he's running with the girl under his arm. I forget her name. Jade. Jade. Yeah. Jade. Um, it's interesting. Like I can, they do just enough to the intro that you can tell what season it is just by certain little things. Mm -hmm. Like you can see, we watched by happenstance the season two intro, and you can see like the demons. Yeah. in the background and you see uh the dude with the white hair the dude with the white hair possessed by the dragon mm -hmm. sometimes i know their names but all i'm coming yeah. up with is shenron and i know that's incorrect <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, shenron. it's yep. definitely not shenron uh yeah i feel like we can get rid of jackie chan just based on the rest of this list cool let's see that's down to 17. My next one might stub some toes. What's that? Batman Beyond. Oh, wow. I don't think it's great. I think it's good. I, I really like it, but... So I don't want to cut it yet, but I'll keep it in mind because I might be willing to part with it. Although, yeah, no, I, it wasn't I, on your list. It, it was wasn't. on your list, and it was on my list. So basically, I'm like the last like fight for it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I'd cut X-Men. I also I would yeah, also, also cut X Men. That's it's, on my list. It's as iconic. Well. Yeah, it's but uh, and I really like how they how the names are look like comic book fonts mm -hmm. and all that. But almost any one of these I'd put on just about every time, or not maybe not every time, but regularly at least. Yeah. Yeah. X Men I'd find myself skipping most of the time. I think it's a really good theme song, but it's it's a little lengthy for what it is. Yeah. Uh, so I, f I also feel comfortable getting rid of the X-Men 90s theme. Good, but I don't know. Um, 
we all kind of really liked the My Life as a Teenage Robot theme. Yeah. For it not be, was it on your list? Yeah. Okay, I was trying to remember whose it was on, because it was, it would have been on Cassie's, and it was in my honorable mentions, I think. Yeah, I, um, I don't feel comfortable cutting it just yet. I no, think. I don't either. I'm just like, it was kind of surprising. I feel like we all were like, oh, wow, this is actually really good. Yeah. Um, I know Isaac wants to fight for Kids Next Door. That's such a good thing. So I'm not going to put that on the chopping well, block. Well, here, yet. let me... After rewatching it, mm-hmm. I think the actual music, really good, and mm-hmm. the visuals in general, really good. The fact that it takes place in front of a blank white screen, not so great. I kind of like that, actually. It lets the characters really pop, I feel yeah. like. Fair. So, I won't put that as a detriment. Okay. Uh, I don't feel super strongly about Kids Next Door. Or at least the opening. Yeah. Um, I'm not fond of the Kim Possible theme. Myself. I understand why. I am more willing to cut Kim Possible than Kids Next Door is what I was about to say before Kendall even said anything. I know Cassie would really fight for Kim Possible, and I really like it, but honestly, if I were to put it on this top ten list, it would be low. Yeah. Um, so let's not cut it quite yet. All right. Let's have some more discussion, but I am, I feel like I'm comfortable cutting it if we can't make a decisive, like, chop here pretty soon. Mm. What else do we have on the list? Jimmy Neutron. I'd be willing to cut that. I like it, but yeah, there's a reason it wasn't on my list. Yeah, I I gave it props for uh, being... Um, there's there's an intro on here that I didn't put, that I forgot. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't put Fairly Odd Parents on here. Oh, well. oh whoops. <laughs> oh, darn. But I I, I'm going to type it in. Like, we all know it. Like, we I'd all know willing, it. I'd be willing to cut it. So, really? like, yeah. I don't know. I'll put it on here for right now. Um, cause like, I think it's potentially a better theme than Danny Phantom. Oh, is and... Danny Phantom still on there? Oh yeah. Huh. Oh. <laughs> so that's another one on my list of five that I'd be willing to cut. Interesting. Yeah. Again, like... There's only a couple on my list that, like, I feel super strongly about. Like, I have a solid top ten, but I just really it's, feel it's... strongly about a few of them. Yeah, for sure. It's difficult because, like... Even in our honorable mentions, there are some on my honorable mentions that I still feel pretty strongly about on this list. How strongly do you guys feel about Alvin? Uh, not really. It's cute. It's really cute. Yeah. All, All right. right. <laughs> but I would keep it over Danny Phantom. Would you? Maybe. Uh, what, what's no? I'd keep it over Fairly Odd Parents. There we go. Kendall, Fairly Odd Parents. What do you feel about it? Ah. Uh, it is a really good opening mm-hmm. and all. Um, we didn't even listen to it. <laughs> no, but it's one of those, we like, know, but we, we know. I we don't even have to go you. back. Yeah. Like, as soon as I realized it wasn't on this list, I'm like, I can picture, like, every moment. I, almost, I can hear every moment. I almost feel like some some stuff about, like, how Butch Hartman has been lately that's almost... Uh, there is a little bit of Butch Hartman controversy out there right yeah. now. Uh, just uh, Tell me about it. Um, just generally being a huge scumbag ah. and, uh, taking really expensive commissions for traced art. Oh, uh, lame. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't want to hold that against the shows we grew up with. Yeah. That has nothing to do with that. Um. That being said, I'm, I'm more and more comfortable. There was one of these, what we said, uh. And. And I don't know. would you say that a lot of our closeness to these openings are also our closeness to these shows themselves? There is some bias with the shows. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's crazy. Fairly Odd Parents was always fun, mm-hmm. but it wasn't one that I really got attached to. As in the show or the theme song? Uh, the show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I would always watch it. It'd be one of the, my like go to shows if it was on, but it's because there was I was a kid and there was like nothing else on kind of thing. Yeah. It was just always on. That and SpongeBob. Yeah. Were always on. They're still always on. So yeah, I don't feel as strongly about the opening by extension. Fair enough. Uh let's see. What did you guys think about the Arthur theme song? I really liked it. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure it wasn't just my... I'd put it low on the list, but... I sure. Think... I can yeah, understand. If... Like, it was, like, number three, but I definitely understand that is definitely me. Um... <laughs> we were talking about cutting Batman Beyond, right? Yes. It was one of yeah. the ones that was potentially on the chopping block. Yeah. Yes. 
I can... This has been our most civil one so far, I think. It is. It's, well, because it's, like, it's hard, because, like, there's none that's, like, I didn't like this one at all. Yeah. <laughs> except um, except you don't really like the Kim Possible theme. No, That's it, about the only one that I feel no, like... No, that's... That one is the only one that feels dated. I think, in my... Def- in the defense of this list, I feel like Danny Phantom is also a bit dated. It, okay, oh, yeah, Danny Phantom is also dated. Like, just that, just that, like... Like, it's catchy, but yeah. it definitely feels like it's up its time. And there's some cool, um, uh, and there's some cool, um, visuals to it, too. The visuals, I think, are what kind of save it for me. Yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, when we were watching it, the ghost binding with his DNA is yeah. such a cool visual for a cartoon of this, like, caliber. You know what some of the visuals remind me of? What do they remind you of? Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hello? What? What? <laughs> Specifically, the one we had to watch last time. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, you remember when I was like, wow, that's very 70s. Where there's like several images, but it keeps like just changing the color constantly from like green to blue to pink to orange. Yeah. It does the... that in Danny Phantom too, and I'm like, wow, that... that really assaults the eyes. It's good, but it like. It, it has a similar like rave effect. Uh, like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's like this like techno rave a little bit with like the green, then like. Yeah. 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 That's what it reminds <laughs> me of. It's very strange. <laughs> I wouldn't compare it to JoJo, but I, I guess I understand what you're saying. And if you t- and if and if you pause at just the right moment, you see Danny's stand from part three. <laughs> uh, I'm willing to cut Batman Beyond. I feel like it was pretty low on my list. To be fair, yeah, that was also one that was that if it made it on, it was going to be like my number ten. Yeah. Um. How strongly do you feel about Kim Possible, Isaac? Eh. Eh? Yeah. I really like the intro, but I also kind of, like, feel your guys's... I love the intro. The dated... And I, I, I like the show a lot. That's probably yeah, why I love There is a little bit of bias with the show being so good. Ron Stoppable is a super fun character. Of course. They're all fun characters, like... <laughs> But Barkin, the teacher voiced by the... I can't remember... I can never remember his name, but the guy who voices Krunk in Emperor's New Groove... Um, it's like Patrick Warburton. Warburton. Yeah. I think, mm-hmm. yeah. Fantastic. Uh, are... John John DiMaggio voices Draken. Uh like but yeah, we're not talking about the show, we are talking about the intro. And I think that being said, I think we can get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also feel like it was done a little dirty by um having my life as a teenage robot come before it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wanted to mention, um, just because the topic, it didn't really come up, but I was thinking about it. Ron Stoppable is like that geeky, lovable character. He reminds me, again, when it related to anime, and you'll, mm. I, I hope you understand like what I mean when I say Ron Stoppable is basically like Zenetsu or Arthur Doyle from, or I think that's his last name from Fire Force, I don't remember. Um, I haven't seen it, so. That's fine. Um. <laughs> They're just these really ridiculous characters. And something I realized is um, Rachel just hates Zenetsu from Demon Slayer. And it just reminds me of, like, they're very similar characters because they're kind of derpy. Hmm. She hate, seems to hate derpy characters. It's like, but, but everybody loves Ron Stoppable. Um, so now i got to go ask her the next time I see her if she hates Ron Stoppable. Maybe she does. Mm-hmm. I could understand somebody hating Ron Stoppable, but I think... <laughs> Some of it comes from the voice acting of Will Friedle himself, who also voices Terry McGinnis in Batman Beyond. It's such uh, a... You know, and he's also the older brother in Boy Meets World, and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know the problem with Ron Stoppable? He's just so easy to stop. <laughs> yeah. It's in his name. Like, it's what so weird. <laughs> I think they want it to sound, like, unstoppable, but Ron doesn't just... It doesn't quite work. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, like, Kim Possible definitely sounds like impossible. Like, there's no denying that. And then their whole family is Tim Possible, Jim Possible. Like. <laughs> is it really? I, I yeah. honestly didn't watch it much. What's the mom? I don't. I don't remember what the parents' names were, uh, but it's like the, it's definitely Kim, Jim, and Tim. <laughs> All right, we're at fifteen right now. We only have to count five more. Yeah. Yeah. I. I feel like Fairly Odd Parents is just here because like it I feels agree. wrong to cut it. I I am fine with cutting I it. I kind of agree, sadly. I love that theme, but like we might have to cut it. 
It was even an afterthought. Like, even though it was pretty decently high on all of our lists. Yeah. But, like, even in the end, I scrolled through our list and, like, does anybody else have one they want to fight for? And nobody (laughs) looked through their list and said, Fairly Odd Parents. None of the three of us. (laughs) So, I think with that being said, (laughs) Goodbye, Fairly Odd Parents. Does anybody want to say any final words to Fairly Odd Parents? Cosmo is a gem. Cosmo got worse and worse as the show went on, though. He got stupider and stupider and yeah, he more did. and more unsufferable. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Fairly Odd Parents. All right. We have 14 now. Um, class of 3000. London Bridge. Yeah, it's got such a bad bridge. <laughs> Everything else about it is like a 10 out of 10. And the bridge is a... Like a 1.3. It's like, that's a little funny the first time you hear it, but then every time you hear it for the rest of your life, all you hear is, Dun, the bridge is falling down, falling down. <laughs> and I'm just like, die, die. <laughs> the only saving grace is that the show knows it's kind of annoying and terrible, so they start to sing over at the end of it. <laughs> but at that point, like... The damage is done. The damage is done. Because the end almost saves it. They all... I already broke the bridge. Yeah, I'm good at cutting class. <laughs> Our, we can't jump over that. That that's too much of a bridge to jump over. <laughs> you can't reach I mean, it. She anymore. even said it was falling down. Like, <laughs> yeah, that bridge. It's definitely falling down. Ugh. Okay. Are we all in agreement? Yeah. Make it so. Okay. Make it so. We're at 13. What is left? Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Steven Universe, Milo Murphy's Law, Danny Phantom, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Jimmy Neutron, Magic School Bus, Kids Next Door, Dave the Barbarian, Duck Tales, Arthur, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Batman 90s theme. That's a lot. That so, sounds like way more than 13. Anyways, It did um, sound a lot more than 13, but <laughs> it definitely wasn't. So, Danny Phantom... I'm good with cutting, and I'm also good with cutting. Uh, read me from Danny Phantom onward again. My life, uh, Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. I'm good with cutting. Yeah, I'm those good two. with cutting Jimmy Neutron as well. I'm good with cutting Jimmy Neutron. It's got a lot of memorable moments, um, but I even said like, you know what the best part of the music in Jimmy Neutron is, and like everybody came up with like a different little song. <laughs> 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 like another one is like, do you remember the episode where they're telling? Jimmy invents a machine that tells like horror stories Mm -hmm. and like this evil pizza comes out. Yeah, I don't remember that one actually. And Carl, like they're like, what do we do? We got to make the sunrise. It's the only way. (laughs) And so like they start like doing this fake morning show stuff and Carl comes out and like, good morning to you. Good morning (laughs) to you. (laughs) We're all in our places with such shiny faces. (laughs) I do remember that, man. I I feel uh, maybe it was just in my head but that wasn't a terrible carl impression i feel like <laughs> at least pretty in, good <laughs> at least in that context um alvin and the chipmunks isaac yeah, we, yeah. sorry it was my, isaac. Number, t- it was my yeah. number 10 man I'm it's not, good oh, though like, fair enough <laughs> it's one of those like it's good though like but i'm i'm still gonna push for that danny phantom i don't think it's great I'm, in comparison I'm also leaning toward Danny Phantom on this list. Milo Murphy's Law was really great, and I'm absolutely gonna have it. I just wanted, to, I, I just wanted to scare you guys. <laughs> Milo Murphy's Law, we both immediately turned to it. I could feel Cassie in the in the non-existent chair over here throttling you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think Danny Phantom <laughs> is the one that nobody really wants to fight for. Like, uh, it's, it's got some good visuals. The theme song is dated. But, like, out of the rest of this list, is there anything else you want off the list over Danny Phantom? Okay, for serious this time. Mm-hmm. Kids Next Door. Ooh. <sighs> I still think it's better than the Danny Phantom intro. Well, what do you feel, Steven? I'm pretty indifferent toward either of them. Okay, but Danny at this Phantom, point. besides like what it's describing in the song, mm-hmm. and the one visual with the ghost, it's not really that unique of a sound. Kids Next Door is straight up like 
Um, you know that it's a spy thing. I'm not gonna. I'm honestly not gonna push this uh, any more than it is because I I just uh, feel slightly more in, indifferent towards Kids Next Door. But since you feel strongly about it, then I'm fine. I with think cutting. you've got the strongest feeling toward either of these. Yeah, like I so. think everybody's got like kind of in a positive but indifferent toward Danny Phantom. Yeah, we're like on a. I feel like we might be on like a lower indifference toward kids next door but you have yeah. a passion for it at least a I, stronger passion than yeah. any of us have for the for either of these two well, also that's... a big point against danny phantom is the one line that has like the educational rap flow the but when it didn't work his parents they just quit a daddy took a look inside of it <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's you're right it, it is a kind of it does sound like an educational show <laughs> trying to be cool um and also like when it didn't quite work, they his folks they just quit. Well, good for you, good for you. You built all this stuff, you plugged it in, you didn't even look inside it. <laughs> and hit the on button. All Danny had to do was accidentally go boop. <laughs> yeah, dinguses. I think we're cutting Danny Phantom. Yeah, sorry, Cassie. It's she still has my life as a teenage robot on here. I and Milo Murphy's and Law. And Milo Murphy's and Law. Steven and Universe. Steven Universe. And I think Ed and Eddie might have been on our list. I'm not sure about Magic School Bus, but that might have also. And so, I think DuckTales might have been on it. <laughs> yeah. And now it comes down to sorting where they go, so we all agree that Milo Murphy's Law goes at number one. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I I wouldn't complain about that actually. <laughs> even, even just seeing it once, um, that uh, I saw that once and was like, you know what? I think I need to see this show. It's, yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened to me. Steven was like, "Yeah, I, I have this on my list." I was like, "I don't know what that is." He's like, "Let me play you the theme song." And then I went and watched it on Disney Plus and was like, "Okay, okay. this is a really good show." All because Steven showed me the theme song. There we go. It's so good. <laughs> so yeah, for that I am one I haven't even seen the show of. How about that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Man, I have a good track writer for these top tens. <laughs> <laughs> I have good taste. <laughs> and now here's where the interesting thing happens. I actually don't care where the rest of the stuff goes. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there ends my contribution. Um, See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll put the rest of Isaacs on the bottom. <laughs> like all Everything else, number ten. <laughs> <laughs> We're not not even uh, number two. <laughs> uh, personally, I would, like that, I like the Batman '90s theme, but I feel like it's a little a little overhyped. Yeah, that's fair. I um, think something else is overhyped on the list, but it doesn't matter what I think because it's three against one. So. Are you talking about Steven Universe? Yeah, I just really so I don't like. I want to say that obviously not all of them were like singing off key but i really don't like when in a theme song it's intentionally that someone is singing off key like in the whole london bridge is falling down thing and i feel like the dude who voices steven universe absolutely singing off key super unnecessary i think that really killed it doesn't it for feel me. it doesn't feel so much like it's off key as he's just like saying it like he's yeah. inserting himself yeah, and that's it's just different. kind. Of, and it's just kind of how Steven is. So yeah. this uh, Steven I Universe, seen the show, yeah, and I, if we're yeah. doing it just based off the theme song, I, I it really annoyed me. So like, I'm sure it's very endearing so, if you watch the show. I think, yeah, it is. I think the so. Sh I yeah. think that theme is a grower, not a shower. It is. A, it's definitely a grower, not. Shower. Um, but like that being said, with all that, like with that annoyance of yours, I would be comfortable not putting at number two. Yeah, I uh, like. I would. If you, I, would I think I'd put, put it at like. Ed I would maybe put Edit and Eddie at number two. I'd agree with that. All right, yeah, I could, that's that was my number two. So yeah, um, and I think it was on everybody's list. So was it not on your list? I forgot you about forgot it. About it. You would, forgot about it. Would it have maybe been on your list or at least an honorable mention? It would have been on my list. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I would have replaced Alvin and the Chipmunks, to be honest. There you go. Or Jackie Chan, probably <laughs> Jackie Chan. Uh, I would put Steven Universe probably at three-ish then that's kind of what i'm feeling as well um just because like i know there's two passionate and one ghost passionate here <laughs> that would fight for it hardcore yeah, yeah. Um, that's why i'm not gonna say anything yeah. about uh where i think it should go but i'm curious where do you i mean would you put it at the very bottom no okay i where... put it at five because if it 
if it's a theme song that you have to watch the show and it slowly over time becomes endearing, that's not a great theme song. That's a, you like the show, so you start to like the theme song over time. That's a number I, five. It's not I, I above kind of, that. I kind of agree with you to some extent, but, like, it's different. Like, it's yeah, not it's, like this was a bad theme that... I mean, no, but you have yeah. to understand yeah, the show to understand the theme, which is not the case with the rest of them. You understand the show from the theme based on the rest of them. That's why I say number five. Yeah, kind of, but it, I, I really do feel like it, uh, it grows on you not just because of how it's um, related to the show. It is just a know. song that's a grower. We we can. We can put it to the test. I will go listen to that song <laughs> multiple times, not in the same yeah, at the right. same day. <laughs> And we'll see if it grows on me without knowing anything about the show, but I don't think it will. I just really think it has to do... I I mean, it's such a weird argument, because I feel like it's not anything in the show itself that makes the theme song It's knowing the characters, which which is what you said. That's totally his character. How would I, somebody who have never seen that, know that's his character? It just sounds like he's being annoying. (laughs) (laughs) You are kind of right about that. And I think that is a fair argument. Yeah. So I might knock it down to number four if we think of something that would definitely go above it. I would settle for four. I think four is a good spot. Because mm-hmm. that's between what I wanted and what you guys wanted. Are you okay with that, Kendall? Like, I'm still potentially yeah. moving toward number three if we don't find anything that we're, like, totally in agreement that, like, this could definitely My life go is above a teenage it. robot. Was really great. Even Kendall was <laughs> like, man, this is pretty awesome. Kendall also said that about the DuckTales theme, though. That's true. I'd also be willing to put DuckTales above... I don't think Cassie would would argue. I wouldn't wouldn't put DuckTales above Steven Universe myself, but I I think I might put My Life as a Teenage Robot in three. (laughs) I think I... I could could put Steven Universe at four if Teenage Robot is at three. (laughs) I think. I feel like I'm willing to make that compromise. Cool. Um... Yeah, I feel no, like Cassie sure. probably would too because it was on her list as well. She would probably fight a little harder for Steven Universe. Yeah. yeah, but she's not here, and I can't make the entire argument for a person that's not here. I'm just trying to be like, we did have a fourth list, and there would be arguments made, so I'm yeah. doing my best. Yeah. <laughs> um. So let's put yeah, let's take Steven Universe and pop it to number four for right now. Um. Oh, there we go. And let's put my life at number. four three um so we're good we have magic school bus kids next door dave the barbarian ducktales arthur and the 90s batman theme <sighs> magic school bus at number five it's such that like jazzy soulful like i said um there are few thi- like there's few things i like more than a super exaggerated japanese man singing an a ja- an anime intro like it's the last thing he'll ever do and he's so happy to do it with his dying breath yeah a soulful black man doing the same thing for a children's cartoon <laughs> brings me very similar joy <laughs> um i don't feel super strongly about the magic school bus song honestly okay uh how do you i mean you are a big proponent for dave the barbarian i am uh, Isaac, where would you put Dave the Barbarian on this list? Number eight. Number eight? Wow. Where would you put it on this list? Five or six, probably. Five or six? I'm going to tentatively put it at number six for right now. Okay. It might move, but at least we kind of get something else moving over there, you know? Yeah, and if and if y'all feel that strongly about Magic School Bus, then I... I uh... And I, uh, I don't mind that being above. It's one of those, like, I'm not sure yet. I'm just saying, like, that's part of why... I was, I just explained part of why I like it. Not that that should make it, like, super high on the list or anything. And again, my opinions aren't super strong. They're just like, this is probably where I would put it. Uh, I'm not gonna fight for anything to be where it's at. I, I, I think but your at opinions are... Like, they help make decisions still. That's yes. why I'm asking you. Yes. It's like... If you were to, if you were to right now look at this list, where would you put it? And then Kendall says something, and I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle there. Um, I really like the DuckTales theme. I like the new version better. Um, there was something about the old singer that kind of grated on me. Yeah, sure. But the new one is the one we watched, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and it's fun. The, the art style is, it's a little more angular than like the typical Disney, like, 
it's Disney usually has a very like round. Yeah, I I really like edges. I really like the new art style. It's not too angular. I don't think. No, it's, it's not. I'm just saying it's definitely it's more a, angular than the typical Disney look. Yeah, it it uh it's got a good look. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really I really liked how everything flowed in that. Uh, the visuals of that opening it's very vibrant yeah uh, ca- every there's they make sure like everything is there to capture your attention yeah i would i would put ducktales at five then okay i'm good with that ducktales where at number five cool it's going very smoothly it is um, a little too smoothly <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna be like finally like What's the worst one on this list? <laughs> or, like, I feel like, for some reason, I feel like, actually, like, number eight and nine are going to be our tough spot. Like, normally, number you know one what is... I think number ten should be? It should be both Arthur and Kids Next Door at the same time. <laughs> Agreed. I... Wait, what? <laughs> no, you're not supposed to agree. <laughs> if I were to pick Kids Next Door, it'd probably be at number ten. I would on agree. This list. Yeah. It's just unique enough to make the list, but I don't... Put, again, white background is... Um, it, it fits it fine, but, like, it just doesn't... I don't care for the song for Kid, on Kids Next Door. I think it's fine. It's Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's on... Honestly, it's on here because Isaac really likes it. <laughs> Isaac always gets one. <laughs> get and hey, on this... Okay, but I you think... always get one that we're like, why is that on this list? <laughs> It's not as de- as offensive to us as Drake and Josh is, but... Oh, no. <laughs> Drake and Josh is great. <laughs> let's, please, let's not get that. Oh, no. You will never convince me otherwise. <laughs> and I feel like I got uh, one that like that, too, with Dave. Kind of, but I don't feel like any of us were like, why is Dave the Barbarian on this list? I feel like we're all like, okay, let's get it on there. We'll put it on there. Nobody ever was like, when we're going through the top 20 or yeah 20 we had nobody said like get dave the barbarian off that list yeah <laughs> it didn't even get brought up to cut ke- to cut <laughs> it's because i forgot it was there <laughs> <laughs> what would you have brought it up uh, i don't know i don't care enough about it to one way or the other all right <laughs> <laughs> this is like right now why i said eight is because like i don't think it should be at the bottom because it's not terrible but i don't care enough about it to be above eight Man, we're, I'm in a weird circumstance where it's like, I feel like if I, like, Batman should be, like, at number nine, but I also feel like it's a sin to put it that low. <laughs> I think that it, Batman should be above Dave the Barbarian. Ooh, scandal. Mm. What do you think, Kendall? You had them both on your list. You were the only one to have either of them on your list. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what the was your order? Let, let me defend my statement. Ooh. I want to hear this. The song for Dave the Barbarian is great until it starts talking about his parents and his sister. Then it changes the tune a little bit. And I think the second half of the song's much worse than the first half. Yes, yeah, the first it... half is just saying his name. But, like, pretty good. <laughs> the second half is mediocre. Uh, do, you, do you mean, like, when it goes to, like, the, the women singers? No. Oh, it... is this a sexist thing now, Isaac? <laughs> <laughs> no, like... Yeah, uh, probably a, not. <laughs> I believe it's a dude still. It t- says his parents go away to like. No, that's that's. Uh... Oh well, sorry. <gasps> Scandal. <laughs> uh, well, my life at a teenage robot, definitely female singer. Uh, really good. Um, however, yeah, I guess at that point, I think the song is worse. At that point. <laughs> uh, that's fair, but I also feel like it has such. Uh, but it also brings back the. Oh, barbarian at the end and (laughs) yeah yeah, that's a really that's fine it's just that middle part there is just cut that out and then they could go above number eight class of three thousand maybe seven (laughs) would you settle for seven i at least don't think it should be in that sixth spot i believe that what else is on there we got the Magic Batman. School Bass art. Ah, Magic School Bus should absolutely be above it (laughs) (laughs) i don't i don't know about Mm -hmm. soulful black man all right i guess i guess it is just that i really liked the show as well so do you guys feel okay about putting arthur at number nine what's it ten kids next door yeah uh, nine. you want to fight for it higher oh. i i like arthur more than magic school bus myself Ooh. oh okay that sounds fine 
<laughs> yeah, the person who's saying like magic school bus should go above dave the barbarian i agree so, <laughs> so he's like, I still he's like that too. knock dave down two slots now <laughs> and you know what batman's better than it knock it <laughs> i also think that <laughs> i also think that so like i don't know i guess i'd put dave the barbarian at number nine but you know i, I kendall Do feels you... really strongly about it so i think maybe seven is a good spot for it but and then what would go above it? I think. <laughs> Isaac said everything. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I literally think everything would go above it. But um, I'm willing to put it at seven because you love it so much. What do you think, Stephen? Oh, man, this is hard for me because, like, the Magic School Bus and Arthur, particular, like, both have, like, that, like, really kid um, nostalgic kick for me. Like I, yeah. Like I said earlier, Magic School Bus has a similar feeling to me when I hear it that bill nye the science guy does yeah it's not as powerful because like i'm not fighting for bill nye to be like up at, like like we fought bill nye to be up toward the top yeah uh whereas magic school bus like we're looking at like somewhere between the seven or i mean i guess we're fighting somewhere between the six and nine spot right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so like i don't feel as strongly but you definitely go back to elementary school middle school science class and like putting on a movie today all right cruising dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I do feel. You get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. <laughs> I do feel Isaac's argument though, because it was that same reasoning that we kind of cut Jimmy Neutron. So. Mm hmm. Like as much as that bu- barbarian part is yeah. great, it has a powerful intro. It does have a very powerful. Which is intro. honestly, in my opinion, why it's here. Yeah. Because yeah. I never watched this show, and I remember that to this day. Like even without here having us watched it. I could hear it in my, like, that intro in my head. But I couldn't remember, I could remember the art style. I couldn't remember any of the song after the, buh, buh, and I still honestly can't. You don't remember the rest of it? Not at all. It goes into, like, Dave I Dave I remember that it exists. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even really sound familiar to me. And I just <laughs> listened to this. Fair enough. <laughs> uh... But I don't want to put it lower than seven, I feel like. So we've got to decide which of these three definitively would be better than Dave the Barbarian. Uh, I never really got to see Magic School Bus as a kid, so mm. I feel like nothing for that intro. <laughs> right. Isaac, did you f- do you prefer Magic School Bus over Arthur? No. No? You think Arthur should go above Dave the Barbarian? I think that Arthur should go above Dave the Barbarian. I think that Arthur is a prelude to our number one they're very similar in like <laughs> i mean kind of i guess <laughs> in the, in the message would. in the message it's a simple message but it comes from the heart believe in yourself and that's the place to start and that's it i hey. would i would say yes to arthur and uh batman above dave oh Ooh. cool i'm Stand good with that and we can put magic school bus below it absolutely sounds great i think I think i'm okay with that what let's put him in there and like get that definitive like look we'll look it over and be like i don't know about that or like yeah it looks good do we say so we said dave at number eight <laughs> <laughs> we said arthur okay did we say arthur is better than batman yeah, or did that we say, goes over my head <laughs> or did we say batman is better than arthur um mm. <laughs> Personally, I lean more toward Arthur. Me too. Yeah, I could. I could. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so dirty. It feels I dirty. Never, I never watched much Arthur, but uh, seeing that intro did give me joy. I yeah. had a game as a child, like a CD game. You did. We played it on your computer. It was Arthur. It was like a yeah. spelling and like math yeah, game. It was like a learning kind of game, yeah. Okay. I think we have our top ten. Is everybody look like I want everybody to just like look at this and say like we're locking in. Like I'm ready to lock that in. Fuck Dave the Barbarian. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I was like, how did you manage to be the agent of chaos in everyone? <laughs> because that's just how I live my life. Yeah, that's I'm the fair. agent of chaos. <laughs> I Isaac for the next Joker. <laughs> 
no. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to look at my best friend even more than I already do and say, yeah, I'm terrified of you. Because it's already true, but it would just be more. <laughs> Can we get a clean of you saying we live in a society? <laughs> Sometimes, sure. <laughs> I was born in the Dark Rift, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I I do feel good about that. We're yeah, locking we can... in. This one was fairly civil. Nobody got yeah. mad. We, there was discussion, but it was warranted discussion. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, so... I think that... Uh... Drake and Josh should go above <laughs> no! the barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> I think Drake Edward. and Josh should go straight to hell. <laughs> there we go. There's a little bit of trauma. <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our number 10 is Kids Next Door. Uh, number 9 is Magic School Bus. Well, we're doing this in a weird order. We are. <laughs> <laughs> number 8 is... Batman, it's Dave the Barbarian. Uh, number seven is Batman 90s theme. Number six is Hark. <laughs> really out of order. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> number five is DuckTales. Number four is Steven Universe. Number three is My Life as a Teenage Robot. Number two is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And, and number, number one, one is Murphy's Milo Murphy's Law. Law. <laughs> what can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> it's just so good. Like, everything, it instantly brings you joy. Weird Al has such a good, like, he should have been a cartoon character years ago. <laughs> it, like, it, like, everything we liked about the Steven Universe intro about, call, like, you see, watch the show and you see so many little things. Milo Murphy has that in spades. Yeah. Um, to the point where, like, you can almost pick it out even before watching it. But as soon as you get that mark in the show, you're like, oh, there's that. And it makes you, it's more than just identifying it. It makes you excited to see it. Plus, he wears a sweater vest and looks so fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> this is not fine. This is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. This is fine. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, 